Hello and welcome to a video tutorial on how to create QR codes and how to scan them um, for the student perspective. My name is Tyler Osborne. So forgive my voice, I'm actually losing my voice, I'm a little bit ill right now. Um, but uh, this was a requested video from one of our viewers and uh, they wanted to know how to create the QR codes and use them for inquiry projects. QR codes are a image that you can scan with a Chromebook camera or any other camera on any other device and it'll take you directly to a web page that you've linked. Very useful for uh, elementary particularly, so that they don't have to remember that big long URL and type it all in. Um, but it's also pretty easy uh, to use in high school and it just kind of speeds up the workflow a bit. So let's find a QR code generator. And to do that, hit the waffle on your Chrome app and then uh, go into the web store. And all you have to do is start typing QR code. It'll bring up a bunch of uh, different ways that you can do it. Now, I'm going to recommend the extensions over the apps. The apps are standalone, and they don't necessarily work on every single device. So you might not find it on an iOS or an Android device, for example, whereas the extensions should work either way. So um, if you go into the extensions, there's three different extensions that you see. I've already installed this top one here. It's pretty easy to use, so I'm going to recommend it. It's the QR code extension by Manuel Braun. So hit the Add to Chrome button. Mine's not there because I've already added it. What it'll do is it'll add the extension to your extension bar over here on the right-hand side. And if you can't see it, you can always find it by pressing these three dots, and it'll be down here. Sometimes you have too many extensions installed, and it pushes it off to the side. So in order to create a QR code, all you have to do is go to the web page that you want um, students to be able to see. So this is the web page that I want them to be able to see. So I'm going to um, then navigate to it, then press the button for the uh, extension, and this is the QR code that they're going to be using. To save it, press edit this code, and then press the save button and give it a name. So I might call this one 21 cent. You can save it as any of these file types. I recommend the PNG, it's just really versatile and you can use it for all kinds of different things. And then press save. And what it'll do is it'll download it onto your computer. So if you click on it, it'll actually give you the code. Oh. So this is my son, actually, from last year. Um, we went and saw Santa Claus. But anyways, moving on to the code. There's your PNG file right there, this image, and you're actually able to put this into any docs or uh, documents that you're trying to generate with students. So you have a saved copy of that QR code. And when they scan it with their computer, it'll automatically take them to this URL right there. Now, to scan a code, let's take a look at that. Let's say they're in the middle of an inquiry project and you want them to scan a code. If they have this extension installed too, they can press the button right here and then press the scan a QR code button. They need to give access to the webcam, so they press allow. And it'll bring up the webcam right there so you can see me. And uh, they just hold the picture up. So if you've given them a document with the QR code, they hold it up to it and it'll scan the QR code and take them right to that web page. All right. And that's all you need to know about how to scan and create QR codes. Um, if you like this video, please consider leaving some feedback on the Google Forms that I uh, have on my website. And thanks for watching.